Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will show you this timer circuit that when we push the button or load turns on for a specified amount of time that we can control by varying this potentiometer. It can also be configured in reverse, that is, our load remains on and turns off for some time when we press the button. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is a company that makes excellent quality PCBs at an unbeatable price. You can order boards online in minutes. After registration, upload your Gerber files, select the PCB properties, select the payment method and place your order. Best price and quality for all your PCB needs. Ok, here we have the diagram of the circuit and let me explain how it works. When we press the push button, the current can flow from the battery and charge this capacitor. Then the current can flow through the base of this transistor and in turn the current now flows through this path and feeds the base of the second transistor. This transistor turns on and activates the coil of the relay. And with the relay activated, these two points are now in contact. So these two points act as a normally open switch that is closed when we press the button. Additionally, we can use the common contact and this other contact and we will have a normally closed switch. And therefore, our load connected to these points will be always on and will turn off when we press the button. In this configuration, our load is off and turns on when we press the button. The time that the circuit is working is controlled by the capacitance and the resistance. More capacitance or and more resistance will result in more time. Now, why we have this resistor here? It is simple, without this resistor, when we put the potentiometer at zero ohms, a large current will flow to the base of this transistor and it can burn. Another thing of this circuit is that we have two transistors. The circuit can work with only the first transistor with the collector connected at this point. However, it will need a large current to work with a single transistor and therefore in order to have large times we will need a large capacitor which is more expensive. Using two transistors we draw very little current from the capacitor and we can use a smaller capacitor in the circuit. Finally, here we have a diode connected between the terminals of the coil which is the diode that is always used whenever we have a relay in a circuit. The diode prevents the voltage spikes that are produced in the coil when the relay is de-energized. Ok, now let's see the circuit in operation. Ok, I have this little lamp connected to the open contacts of the relay, so the current of the battery cannot flow through the lamp, but when I press the button it is on for approximately one second. We can vary that time with the potentiometer and put it the potentiometer to its maximum value we have an on time of approximately five seconds. If we want more time, we can change the value of the capacitor, which is one microfarad in this case, and we can put a larger value 
in order to have larger times. But before that, let me show you the other configuration when I connect the lamp in the normally closed contacts of the relay. So our lamp is always on, but when I press the button, it turns off for the selected amount of time. Okay, let's see, I have changed the capacitor. This one is of 10 microfarads. And of course, we obtain much longer times. Ok, there you have it, an easy to make timer with just a few components. I hope you liked the video, thanks for your visit and see you in the next one.